vintage Christmas handmade ornament, satin beaded jewel push pin. So, you know, you push the pins in it. This is probably just, you know, something that somebody has crafted and it's really beautiful. This, I got at a garage sale for a dollar and I sold it for. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about 30 of my bread and butter bolos items to be on the lookout for, items that you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. These items sold on eBay for $35 or less or less. And I bet you walk past a lot of these items because I I kind of source a little different than most. So let me know in the comments which item you would have walked past. Okay, so the first item here is this replacement battery door cover for a graphing calculator. If I remember correctly, the calculator didn't work and I was like, I'm going to make some of my money back on this. And um, I got the calculator for a dollar at a garage sale and I ended up selling this for $4.55 plus shipping. So this is just the battery case. Now, what helped was that I actually knew which model it went to because I pulled it directly off of the calculator. So that is helpful. All right, the next item are these Madame Alexander dolls. These are the McDonald's Happy Meal collection. If I find these and I can get them cheap, I do pick them up because they do sell. I got these at a garage sale for $1.50 and I sold them for $16.90 plus shipping. This is napkins, vintage Halloween witch creative papers, napkins. Um, they're really cool. Let me show you here. This is what the back looks like and just napkins. And I sold these for $26 plus shipping. Um, I got these at a garage sale for 50 cents. The next item here is this vintage Bucilla counted cross stitch kit. And I picked this up at a garage sale for $1 and I sold it for $16.25 plus shipping. Uh, cross stitch kits, they range from bread and butter to big money. Definitely look up that number because some of them can go for big bucks. I do have a video on cross stitch kits that sell for a lot if you want to check that out. Vintage Little Tykes Dollhouse Family Furniture Baby Swing. I picked the, um, a Little Tykes Dollhouse up and I parted it out. And I sold this swing alone for $24 plus shipping. And probably had about a dollar in that, maybe 50 cents after I broke, broke it all down. Minecraft Figures Mini and Regular. I got this one off of Facebook Marketplace and I sold this for $18 plus shipping. So a lot of times if I have just a few toys, I will wait until I get some more and I will lot them up. I think all of those came together, but that's one little thing that you can do. Just throw them in a tote and then kind of as you collect similar items, you can lot them. This one came from an estate sale, a living estate. Um, it's a Nordic Ware locomotive train cake aluminum baking pan. And I got that, I think it was around a dollar and I sold it for $16.25 plus shipping. I thought this was going to sit a while and it actually sold really quickly. So that one kind of surprised me. This is an Aurora pink flamingo bird plush stuffed animal with a little tutu. I got this at a garage sale for $1 and it sold for $19.50 plus shipping. And that actually sold pretty quickly as well. This is from my video that I did not too long ago where I was at the garage sale and I picked up the Barbies. And this is a clone. It is an EG on the back of the neck, Babette Barbie. And I ended up taking a best offer of $22 on her. The buyer was all in for $31.66 and I had about a buck in her. So she had some condition issues. This is a Jelly Cat Mini Fuddle Wuddle Unicorn Baby Plush. And it had a little spot right there and I didn't want to wash it. So I just disclosed it and sold it as is. And I had it up for auction and somebody messaged me um, with a best offer on my auction because I allow best offers and they offered me 15 bucks. And I'm like, you know what? It's got something on it. It needs cleaned. I'm going to sell it for $15 plus shipping. I got that at a garage sale for 50 cents. And I also have a big money bolo category video on Jelly Cat. So Hallmark Keepsake DreamWorks. Shrek 2003 Christmas ornament, no box. Got this from the Goodwill bins 
and I sold this for $7.80 plus shipping. This is vintage lace. This came from an estate sale also, and it smelled like mothballs. So I just disclosed it, started the auction at what I felt like was a low price. Um, the items were also um, stained. Uh, so mothballs and stained. So I started them at $34.99. I mean, they can be cleaned or they can be dyed. So there is still use for items like this. They did sell on a seven day auction for $34.99 plus shipping. The next item, I had no clue about this when I bought it at the garage sale. Um, I have a video on it. I bought a whole box of dolls for $15. This one is a vintage Japan foursome doll, tongue out, big eyes, number 784. And I looked her up and there were some good comps on her. But this one, you can see she's got some discolorations and she's not in great condition. So I went ahead and auctioned her and she sold for $29.99 plus shipping. The next item is this Creative Memories custom cutting system, and it's got all of these shapes here. There's 14 of them. I got these at a garage sale for a buck, and I sold these really fast for $24 plus shipping. This is a Fisher Price 1986 Little People mailbox and mail truck, and I sold this for a best offer of $14.50 plus shipping. This one right here came out of a thrift store mystery box. I typically do not list these unless they are like a well-known brand, but I did look up some comps on some of these and they were okay. And honestly, I wanted to make some of my money back and give trying out some of these things. Um, not something I typically source. So vintage 1998, oh well, Heartland Valley Village Brick Barn and Green Silo. It sold much quicker than I expected it to. I did take a best offer of $22.50 plus shipping. And that was a thrift store mystery box. So probably like a buck in that. This came from a thrift store. I paid 50 cents for it. It is an Avon lickety stick Christmas mouse, mouse brooch pin. And it's got the original box. So I think that helps. I sold this for $8.75 plus shipping. This is a vintage 1979 Wallace Berry and Company mini koala bear plush. It's just a little guy. I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold it for $11.70 plus shipping. This is a vintage Christmas handmade ornament satin beaded jewel push pin. So, you know, you push the pins in it. This is probably just, you know, something that somebody has crafted and it's really beautiful. This I got at a garage sale for a dollar and I sold it for $22.75 plus shipping. The next item are these Express Columnist Slim Pants. Um, I probably have sold probably 500 pair of these in different variations and sizes and all of that. I used to sell these all the time. Um, I have a whole closet full of these uh, that still need listed, but some of them are still up uh, because I have so many available and they just keep selling. But you can see, I this is back when I listed things on my carpet, before there was photo room, before there was uh, just using a white background, and I still sold stuff on my carpet, but it looks very unprofessional. I highly recommend photo room. There is a free photo room that you can use, but you can also get the yearly, pa yearly plan. It's $69.99 for the year. And if you use my link down below, you'll get 10% off your first year. So I think it brings it down to like, what, $62, $63. And it is worth every penny. But again, they do have a free version. And I do have videos that show you guys how to use that. But anyway, these pants, they just keep selling. Um, I usually don't show uh, my clothing, but I do have a lot of Express items in my store. And a lot of people like to wear that brand. I know that there for a while, that was like all I wore. Now I just wear leggings with cell phone pockets. <laughs> all right. I sold these for $18 and the buyer was all in for $27.06. And my cost of goods was around $3 for those. This is a vintage 100% boar bristle goodie hairbrush, wooden handle, super cool item. Love picking up weird stuff like this. And I got this at a garage sale, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I sold it for $16.25 plus shipping. My cost of goods was probably a dollar or less. Vintage Fisher Price Little Pe People Black and White Puppy Dog Red Collar Plastic. I had two of these, so I threw them together as a lot. Got these out of a thrift store mystery box, and I sold these for $16.25 plus shipping. This is a little deer from that video that I did from 
remember the garage sale I went to and I left all the stuff behind and I should have bought like everything. I had that uh, bunny that I sold for like $200. Yeah, that garage sale. This was just one of the little knickknacks that was in with the bunny. So I paid a quarter for this and I sold this for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. This here, I looked it up and I'm like, Bolo. I knew this was going to like fly out of my store. It is a harder to find item. It is a Bratz Dolls winged throne blue chair. So recently I just went through all of my money pile that has been sitting in bags in the back of my basement and I put everything in totes. And this was one of the items that caught my eye. And I'm like, I'm just going to list it real quick. And it sold super fast for $32 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage antique German child's building blocks and original dovetail wooden box. Um, I'm not sure if this was complete or not. This came out of a dibble box that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. It um, did take a long time to sell. I'm not sure if I had the best keywords in my title. This is not something I'm super familiar with but um, I just kind of went with what I thought would work. So it may have sold for more <laughs> and quicker if I would have used better, uh, had a better title. Um, I sold this for $36 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage little tyke stall house, blue roof house stairs. So this is again, a replacement part from the little tyke stall house. I sold these for $22 and 75 cents plus shipping. And I sold the swing earlier, so. This is a vintage poodle knotter bobblehead. And I almost didn't list it because it's just, it looks dirty to me. But you guys, it sold. <laughs> These bobbleheads do pretty well. Um, people just collect them. I don't think it's dirty. I think it's supposed to look spotted, but I think it looks dirty. <laughs> but anyway, the buyer left me positive feedback and they were happy. It sold for best offer of $14 plus shipping. And I paid 50 cents for it at an estate style garage sale. This here is a Scentsy Itsy Bitsy wax warmer and it had a little bit of issues on the top. That was stained in there. I could not get that off. So I just disclosed it and sold it as is and I did take less for it for that reason. Um, I mean, I priced it lower. It ended up selling for my sale price of $26 plus shipping and I got that at a garage sale for five. So I've had people ask me when I'm doing my videos, if I took a best offer, if it ever sells when the item is on sale. I, I feel like I tried to do that, but maybe I'm not doing it. But if you look at the photo here, you can see this was $40. And then I was running a 35% off sale when this sold and it sold for 26. Now, if it's a best offer, I will tell you it was a best offer. All right, the next item is this vintage folk art doll. This one was a nice surprise. I had no idea it came in a box of dolls I got. And I sold this for $26 plus shipping and I paid around 50 cents for it. So if I remember correctly, I ran this auction style first just to kind of feel out the market. What I do is I will start the auction at what I hope to get for it. And if it does not sell, I will put it on buy it now at a higher price and then put it on sale. So this item did not sell on auction. So I felt like my price point was probably right on. And as soon as I put it at a buy it now or best offer, it sold really quickly. But that auction, because there were no others listed, I wanted to make sure it wasn't something super, super special. I mean, I could have had two people that started fighting over this item and there was a bidding war and I could have sold this for 50 to 60 bucks. Who knows? You know, so that's how I test the market. All right, you guys. Let me know in the comments which item you would have walked right by. Um, thank you for being here. I do like to part things out. I do like to sell toys. Uh, I love vintage Christmas, but I will sell pretty much anything that I can find for a good deal and make a profit on. Um, I My cost of goods is typically pretty low. I like to source in bulk. Um, get a lot of items for one price. So at garage sales, I like to bundle. So that's a little bit about me if you're new here to the channel. Um, I love finding a good bolo, like the big money stuff, but you know, that doesn't happen all the time. So if you want to see my big money bolos, those are in a separate video. They will say big money bolos. And I also feature other people's bolos on this channel. So if you're new here, definitely check out some of my other Bolo videos because that's what my whole channel is about. I do category videos, all kinds of videos. There's actually going to be a couple popping up here and here. A subscribe and another video down below. Check out one of those and come back to this video and leave me a comment 
of which video you went and watched and let me know if you liked it. Let's see if anybody actually does that. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here and thanks for watching.